All right, hello everybody. We are going to try the first online lesson. So let's see how that goes. Um, starting off with kickoff there, that's just building from the last time where we were finding the percent of either the markup or the discount. Um, what we did before that was actual find, okay, what is that sales price and all that. The last part of this is just finding the original price. So now we're gonna work backwards we're going to have what our sale price was. We know what our percent was. And now we're going to find that original. So how we do that is with this right here. We're going to do the sales price. We're going to divide that by whatever our percent is, but we're going to change it to a decimal first. And that'll give us what our original price was. So if we do this first one here. So during a 50% sale, Lester pays $65 for a chalkboard. What was that original price? Well, we have to look at, if it's 50% off, what percent did we actually pay for? Well, the other 50%. So when we set this up, our price P is gonna be equal to our sales price, which was $65, divided by our percent of the decimal. So move it two to the left, 50% becomes 0.50. Now, if you want to drop the zero, that's fine. We can do that. But if you multiply this out, or not multiply, divide it out, sorry. 65 divided by 0.5 is going to give us $130. And that was our original price. So, now in here we have sales price of a toy dinosaur is 60% off its... Uh, of its price was 16 cents. So it was its original price. So again, we're going to use P as our original price. So we know we're going to pay 16 cents. So we have our 0 0.16 on top. 60%, if that is how much off it is, we would then pay 40%. Again, just take 100 minus the percent off. That'll give you how much or the percent you paid. Make that into a decimal. So we're going to divide this by 0.4. So 40% would be 0.4 as a decimal. And if you do that, you're going to get 0 0.40 as your price. So, kind of see how this is going along. Um, again, if you have questions while you're doing this, feel free to message me on the message board. You know, I can go through and, you know, maybe give you a little bit of an explanation and all that stuff. While you're going through this video, um, you know, as we get to these other examples, if you want to pause the video, work them out, and then see if your answer matches up, do that too, just like we would in class, where I say, okay, everybody do this on your own. You can do that still, same thing here. All right, so... Volleyball net, sales price of $14. What was the original price if it was 65% off? Well, again, P equals price of $14. If it's 65% off, we would have paid 35% of it. Again, 100 minus 65 gives you your 35. So that's how much our percent is. As a decimal, two to the left, so 0.35. If you divide that out, you'll get $40. And lastly, if a teddy bear has a sales price of $2.64, what was the original price if it was, wow, look at that typo already. Sorry guys. Uh, if it was 70% off. So again, P equals our price $2.64. Over again, 70% off, 100 minus 70 gives you 30%. So 0.3 is our decimal. And if you divide that out, you will get $8.80. So that is our lesson there on find the original price. Again, if you have questions, feel free to message me. Um, if there's something that you would like me to do a little different while I'm doing these, uh, please let me know and I can do the lessons a little different. Um, and that's, that's it. So 
again, questions, comments, concerns, let me know. And we'll see how this all goes. So uh, the assignment then is going to be that lesson M9 on IXL. Same sort of a deal. You need to do at least 15 minutes and get an 80 for a smart score. Bye, everybody.